Lumen Pro is a go-to tool for quickly adding a lights and the speed up the art direction process of your 3D scene. If you've worked on a large scale project with multiple objects and a series of lights, you will know how tricky it can be to manage an art direct. Lumen Pro was made with artists in mind that want to speed up their lighting process within the Unreal 5 engine. It uses blueprints to add lighting presets inspired by real life photography techniques, each with their own unique color swatches. You can select objects anywhere in your level and spawn any type of light with just a click of a button. Each light type can be selected and quickly allocated into a folder. They can be deactivated or even have their colors changed. I'm so happy to announce that Lumen Pro is now live on the Unreal 5 Marketplace. You can download from the link below. Without any further ado, let's dive in and explore how to use this tool within the Unreal 5 engine. Let's start by adding Lumen Pro to our project and going to the Lumen Pro folder. Inside, we can navigate to the map folder and open the demo map. I have set up these blueprint tutorials just to guide you through the entire process. Step one is to locate the blueprint folder. Here we can right click on the blueprint widget and click run widget. A new pop-up should appear. Let's stop this and adjust our layout like so. From here we can move on to exploring some features. The first feature allows us to spawn a three point lighting blueprint. For example, if we select our Manny and ensure that the snap to object checkbox is enabled, our brand new blueprint will spawn at the origin of our selected model. From here, we can select our blueprint and adjust the location and rotation. However, it's proving a little difficult to see the effect, so I'm going to scroll down and disable my directional light. That's better. From the top panel, we can spawn different blueprints with different styles, all of which can be customized from the detail panel. Let's clean up our detail panel, turn back on our directional light, and explore the next feature. When lighting large projects, I find it a bit of a pain to art direct due to the endless scrolling in my details panel. I also find it frustrating that I would have to mindlessly adjust the transformation of any lights placed into my level. So I made it possible to select multiple lights that can all be adjusted. For example, let's spawn a point lamp at the origin of these objects. If I want to place these three lights in a folder, I can select all the point lamps and create a new folder. From here, I can select individual lights and quickly adjust their color, making it extremely efficient to experiment with color themes in my level, thanks to the swatches. Lastly, let's explore how we can quickly manipulate the post-processing volume. I'm going to start by selecting this cube and spawning a post-processing volume. Thankfully, this volume will enter the level with infinite extent already set to unbind. From here, I can quickly experiment with the saturation and exposure. When lighting, I enjoy working in black and white values, so I have made this feature easily accessible. I can also adjust some bloom and chromatic aberration, and naturally the default button will reset all these features to default. Thank you very much for watching. If you would like to pick up your Furry Owen Lumen Pro, you can check the link below. I will be releasing all updates and new features for free, and all updates will be released on my YouTube community feed and my Twitter. This has been Niall. Happy creating.